Hey guys, today I'm making haku from Spirited Away. As usual, I started with some foil and wire and slapped some polymer clay on top. I decided to bake the base body before adding anything else, so I don't smush everything like I usually do. While this made it easier for me to work on the details, it also made the process much much longer since it would have been much easier to add the details to unbaked clay. I sculpted the underbelly by just adding a long strip of clay and dividing that into little rectangles and smoothing it out. Now I smoothed it into the rest of the body with some more clay. This whole process would have been so simple if I didn't bake the clay beforehand, but I like to do things my own way. I drilled some holes for his little legs and tried real hard to make this wire foot just for it to fall apart and crush my spirit. So, I opted for a much more simple solution instead. For some reason, the dragon has these thin chicken looking legs. So, I made some chicken legs and hope the fingers with no wire in them won't break sometime in the future. And later on, only one finger broke, so I'd call it a success. The sculpting process took way longer than it should have because I just couldn't get the shape of the head right, and when I finally did, I couldn't get the eyes to look right. After each time I kept getting increasingly frustrated and unmotivated and just not doing anything the whole day. But eventually I made something that didn't make me want to throw it in the trash. I covered wire with a bit of clay for the horns and also added cute little ears. I added little pieces to imitate longer fur and added a bit more depth to the eye, making the already angry looking dragon even more angry. Added a few even smaller fur details to blend into the rest of the face and detailed the rest of the face with some little lines to make him look a bit more hairy. A teeny tiny snout and his cute face is done. I attached the chicken legs with some bacon bond and gave him a bit of muscle as well. The legs also got a few longer pieces of fur and the same details. Now I also had to add the fur detail to the rest of the body so I covered it with some baking bond and a thin layer of clay and did the same thing. Again, a hundred times easier and faster if I hadn't baked the clay before. For the mane, I smoothed together a few wavy pieces, but later realized it would be easier to just texture each piece beforehand and add them separately. He also has these super long whiskers, so I again covered some wire in thin clay. I probably could have just used the plain wire, but I've never tried painting wire before, so I was a little scared. I wanted the dragon to sit on a cloud, so I covered a big chunk of foil with clay and added a bunch of bumps. At this point, it just looks like a weird, mutated piece of flesh, but I promise it gets better after painting. Now we are finally at the difficult part. 
not breaking everything while painting. And I'm proud to admit that I only broke one tiny tiny part and you can't even notice it. I painted the body white and the underbelly in a light purplish color. The white got a more yellowish wash to make it a bit less bright. After that I went over it with the same white to clean it up a bit. A few highlights and shadows of the purple, and it's time to work on his luscious hair. I've always really liked this color, I think it looks great, and after a few layers it was time to add a darker wash and dry brush it with the same nice color, only a bit lighter. I painted his little nose and ears pink and finished up painting all the other little details around his face. The only thing left now is the chicken legs. They got a coat of a brownish color and lighter claws. The cloud is pretty straightforward, covered in white, then a light blue wash and some more white highlights later. Finally, I glued the dragon on the cloud with some two-part epoxy glue, and that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!